Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, thank you all you new subscribers as well. Um, and thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, I've been projectile vomiting <laughs> for a couple of days uh, lately, so my voice is still a little bit raspy. Sorry for that. Um, Linus had a little mini stroke again, so but we're back on track now. Um, and I'm going to be discussing the book Entangled Minds by Dean Radin today. This is the book you voted for. So let's get started. So the book Entangled Minds is from 2006. It investigates the idea of interconnected consciousness by drawing on research in the field of parapsychology. The book makes the claim that human minds are fundamentally entangled in a manner that is comparable to quantum particles. Radin hopes to show that phenomena such as telepathy, precognition and psychokinesis are not only possible, but also supported by scientific evidence. The book includes historical accounts, experimental data, theoretical explanations and some speculative ideas. I will go about this one in a bit uh, of, more, of a more structured manner this time, following a process that analytical philosophers employ. There's um, not going to be a lot of uh, excerpts, but I'll try and flesh out Radin's main argument. So first let's talk a little bit about Dean Radin himself. Radin has a long career in both academia and research, particularly in parapsychology. He holds a master's degree in electrical engineering and a PhD in psychology from the University of Illinois. His graduate work back in the day involved designing computer models of cognition and applications of artificial intelligence. For a decade, he worked on advanced R&D at AT&T Bell Laboratories and GTE laboratories. For over three decades, he has been engaged in research on the frontiers of consciousness. Before joining the research staff of IONS in 2001, he held appointments at Princeton University, SRI International and other academic and industrial facilities. Today, he is chief scientist of the Institute of Noetic Science and Associate Distinguished Professor of Integral and Transpersonal Psychology at the California Institute of Integral Studies. He's published several books on consciousness and psi, PSI phenomena, including Entangled Minds. Radin's books have been translated in over a dozen languages. While his work is often viewed as controversial by mainstream scientists, it has contributed to ongoing debates about the nature of consciousness and reality. The main thesis of Radin's book is that consciousness is not confined to individual minds, but is interconnected in a way that can influence other minds and the physical world as well, much like the entanglement that we see in quantum physics. Radin argues that entangled consciousness provides a scientific basis for paranormal phenomena and challenges the standard materialist view that consciousness is a mere byproduct of brain activity. Radin's book is centered around the hypothesis that human minds are interconnected just like quantum particles. Let's break this down and see what his key premises are. Radin draws on the concept of quantum entanglement, where particles influence each other instantaneously, regardless of distance, suggesting that consciousness might operate in a similar, interconnected manner. He cites numerous experiments, such as those testing telepathy, precognition and psychokinesis, which show statistically significant results that he argues cannot be explained by chance alone. Mm -hmm. 
He points to historical and cross-cultural reports of Psi phenomena as evidence that such experiences are widespread and consistent, suggesting a universal aspect of consciousness. He argues that materialist science fails to adequately explain consciousness and dismisses Psi phenomena prematurely, advocating for a more open scientific approach. Radin posits that consciousness can influence physical reality, supported by experimental results where mental intention appears to affect physical systems such as random number generators. Radin's argument structure can be broken down as follows. Premise 1. Quantum entanglement shows that non-local connections exist in the physical world. Premise 2. Experimental evidence suggests similar non-local connections exist between human minds. Premise 3. Historical and cross-cultural reports of psi phenomena indicate a consistent pattern of mind-mind and mind-matter interaction. Premise 4. Materialist explanations of consciousness are insufficient to account for these phenomena. Conclusion. Therefore, human consciousness is interconnected or entangled in ways that go beyond current scientific understanding and challenge the materialist paradigm. Now, Radin addresses several objections, such as methodological criticisms of Psi research, for instance, you know, statistical flaws or experimenter bias, lack of replication. However, his rebuttals often hinge on defending the integrity of the experimental protocols rather than deeply engaging with the broader philosophical or scientific critiques. Key criticisms of his book include replication issues. Critics argue that many size studies are difficult to replicate under stringent conditions which undermines their reliability. Statistical significance versus practical significance. Even when results are statistically significant, they are often small effects that do not necessarily indicate meaningful or practical implications. Alternative explanations. Many of the observed phenomena can potentially be explained by cognitive biases, unconscious cues or random chance rather than genuine psi effects. In terms of the language used in the book, it is accessible, but in my personal opinion, his frustration with backlash from the mainstream scientific community is a bit too on the nose throughout the book. In terms of validity, the argument is logically structured with premises that support the conclusion if taken at face value. The use of quantum mechanics as an analogy is a creative way to bridge physical and mental phenomena, but it risks being more suggestive than demonstrative. With regards to soundness, the argument's soundness depends on the acceptance of the premises particularly the validity of the experimental evidence. The scientific community largely disputes the robustness of Psi research, often due to issues with replication and methodology. So while the premises are intriguing, they are not universally accepted as true. In terms of persuasiveness, Radin's argument is persuasive to those open to non-materialistic interpretations of consciousness, especially those intrigued by quantum mechanics' strange implications. However, it is less persuasive to strict empiricists and materialists who see the evidence as insufficiently rigorous or convincing. And as to the assumptions, the argument assumes that quantum phenomena can directly inform our understanding of consciousness that's an assumption that many scientists and philosophers reject due to the lack of clear mechanical or mechanistic links between quantum physics and mental states. Incidentally, a very famous philosopher whom we recently covered on this channel would probably call Radin's book something like uh, murky quantum rubbish. <laughs> 
At least that is how he characterized the book I wrote um, using quantum theory as well. Look, it is what it is. There are people who say that quantum effects cannot take place at 37 degrees Celsius um, period. And there are others who keep trying to prove the contrary. Only time will tell, I'm afraid. Braden presents an engaging case for entangled consciousness, but his argument falls short of meeting um, standards of scientific rigor. The strength of the book lies in the challenging of such boundaries of prevailing scientific paradigms, but because it relies heavily on contested evidence and metaphorical reasoning that does not fully withstand critical scrutiny, the book succeeds more as a thought-provoking exploration rather than conclusive scientific argument. Nevertheless, the book invites you to consider the possibility that our minds may be more interconnected than we currently are able to show. If you are interested in the latest research uh, or the subject, just check out the website of the Noetic Science Institute. The link is in the description box below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.